This playthrough is rated M for Mature. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volomar back here with another episode of the Pl a Plague Tale Innocence. In the last episode, Hugo was forced to use his powers to control the rats. And it, a month has passed since then. Is Hugo still okay? It seems like things have gotten worse, at least for us. The rats have gotten smarter, gotten more, uh, gotten bigger, and other such things. And now we might be forced to leave our hovel. Let's see what happens next today. Are you all right? No. What the hell is going on? Arthur, did you get bitten? No. We have to get out of here. But the castle was made to resist. Lucas, there were never so many before. This is not a simple infestation. What the hell is it then? This way! Quickly! to be done. Hugo. Come on. Hugo. It was Ellie, what are you do it was Hugo. What Amicia. Much? What have Get they done the to way. him? The rats, he, he, he was... He can control them. Ah. Yes, with the magic. There you go. Where does that go? Don't panic. The castle was designed for this kind of situation. Your castle's falling apart. The rats are getting through the defenses like a hotline from the mother. Listen, I have to talk to Hugo. I can... Go make sure he's dead. I have to... I have to speak to Hugo. Go ahead. I'll take care of him. Hugo? Hugo! I just want to talk to you. He can't hurt you anymore, Hugo. Look! All right, I won't move. You come here. Come on. You lied to me. No, no, I, Hugo, I was trying to protect you. I, I, you lied to me.
You did it. Monsieur. You passed. Arthur, why didn't you kill him when you had the chance? She told you to kill him! Hugo, he mustn't see us. We have to... We have to get out of here, Amicia. Death, my blade is still warm. As you will soon find out. Well, I mean, out. we're pretty much screwed, right? Alright, let's try that again and not die this time. Yeah, I was trying to be quiet through most of that because I thought it was apropos for the situation. So I was trying to... You know, your father didn't die. He died looking directly into my eyes. Hugo, he must see us. We have to... We have to get out of here, Amicia. My blade is still warm. As you will soon find out. Wait a minute. The rats. They obey you, don't they? There must be some of them nearby somewhere. They hit, but they're afraid of the fire. We'll put them out then. We need those rats. Rats are trapped beneath the ground by torches, but they're running this. forever. So we have to create uh, um, extinguishers, I guess, to uh, to take out Nicholas. Nicholas, Nicholas, yes, Nicholas. Oh God! I have all the time in the world. That? Oh, am I supposed to oh, put that one out? Gotcha. Where are you? Uh, when Hugo holds Amicia's hand, she can guide the control the rats. Hold R1 to open the door. Oh! I will kill you quickly. I don't give such special treatment to everyone. Damn it! You gotta have magic powers. God damn it! All right. I want to play. Let's play on equal terms. Yeah. The rats, Amicia. He killed the moon. We'll free more of them. But nothing. They move fast, like roaches. I told you I'd fight you. So we need to find some more rats. Ah, damn it! I need. A, I, I. I probably should have just started running after a point. I kind of lost my like sneaky attitude after a while. If that makes sense, you know. Okay, so at least the game like resets back to. All right. You want to play? Let's play on equal terms. Okay, so we need to. The rats, Amicia. He killed the moon. We'll free more of them. Okay, so yeah, we just need a sneak, sneak. Almost. Almost. You know, should have known that this guy was not going to be uh, finished off by, like, you, you know, um... Oh, get him! Or not. Oh, we, do we have to put out his flame? Is that what we need to do? Uh-oh. Um. Ah, nuts. Run! I'm just gonna run my ass off till I get away from him. I was gonna try to extinguish the flame on his sword. I bet that's what you're supposed to do. But, if he has his sword still... Okay, but we don't have to... Where are you, Eric? I ah, keeps putting back on his freaking sword thing. Oh, come on! Damn it. 
Run! Yeah, he keeps turning back on his flame, and then he keeps uh, sh shoving the... Uh, I guess we just have to do it when he's not paying attention or something. Oops. I told you I'd fight you. This is definitely an interesting boss fight. I mean, if you want to call it a boss fight. Nothing. So you were hiding here. Just have to. And no I noticed he like if we can if we aim at him and he sees us then. He uh, he immediately like um, almost like almost. covers his like hand basically. Gotta put out the flame so he doesn't keep turning his sword back on. It's not easy to live in the carrier's shadow, is it, Monsieur? It's not easy I being green. Oh, he keeps turning the back on. Huge. Your sister won't be able to stay. I'm coming. Where Damn it, quit turning those dick? things back on. Dick cheese. Get those rats to go after him before he turns the sword back on. Get back! Get back! A night, uh, rats can actually kill me like that. Like, if I got too close to them, they could. God damn it, get away from me. Stay away. Stay away, bitch. Yeah, he's like all over the place, covered in those flames. Probably gonna have to put him out a few times. Ah. Got him. Stop it, please. I'll kill them all. I'll burn their fucking banner! Lily, you'll never make it. What about you? You're just gonna stand there. Just wake up. Look! You don't know what you're saying. I do know we're getting killed. One by one. They got my brother. Your father. Yours. There's nothing left. Nothing! She's right. He's here. This is crazy. Five of us. Against... Against an arm. I think there are a lot more of us now. Has... Has he passed the threshold? Yes. I believe so. Hugo, what do you want to do? I want to save Mommy. That changes a lot of things. Even if it kills us, what have we got to lose? Us? Nothing. But Vitalis. Now we can stop him. So let's go. To the death. To the, to death. the death. Well, we've, we got Hugo back in an epic boss fight. You know, of, of, well, I don't know if I call it epic, but it was a pretty cool boss fight. But, you know, sorry for Arthur. I had a pretty good feeling that if any of those characters were going to die, which usually would have happened maybe more of them was going to be Arthur because he never got enough screen time. It was always, he was never there a good deal of the time. So I had a good, I had a pretty strong suspicion he was going to get killed, but, but she told to finish him off and he didn't do it. That's why he died. Cause he was an idiot. You know, I, I feel bad for him. I really do. Especially for Melia. Cause I do like Melia too, you know, and obviously she's pissed off when we decide, well, we're going to get Fatalis. So I think this might be the final chapter. Coronation sounds like a good final chapter. So 16, I was pretty close. I think I said somewhere around like 12 to 15 originally. 
So that was, that was pretty close. I wasn't on the ball, but. It's huge. How are we going to find Mummy? We'll get her out of there, Hugo. Right. That's enough hanging around. Hey, wait! I'm really sad. She'll be all right. But can't we help her? That's why we're here. To help her get revenge. And to keep her alive. We got the kid and the rats. We're invincible. Roderick, he's five years old. Oh, I was close. I, I kept saying he was six. So, five? Okay, that makes sense. All right. <laughs> Looks like Roderick's staying on our tail. I guess because we're not specifically controlling them, the, the, the rest of the... Uh, group. I knew we were gonna have a like an episode where everyone was gonna come with us to do something, but you know, yeah. Too bad Arthur didn't survive it because, like I said, he should have killed him. We told him to kill him, and he, for some reason, just stopped doing it. But or just didn't do it. I guess he got distracted by the whole rat fiasco. But uh, yeah, Nicholas was. What's the matter, Melly? Calm down. Those fucking rats blocked the safest entrance. They didn't mean to do it, Melly. They we don't have a choice. We have to try the great door. But watch out. Oh, Melly, wait! Is she angry with me? <laughs> no. She's just angry full stop. But give her a little time, Hugo. I'm assuming there's supposed to be a flower around here we're gonna have to find before things go to, to the shit. You know. Um it is kind of cool that Hugo basically became a, like a major like rat whisperer or whatever you want to call it. You know, I knew that I knew something like that was going to happen, but I didn't know when it was going to be. And obviously, he was temporarily temporarily a villain. You know, but, like all kids, it didn't take a very long to. Uh, um, you know, kids are weirdly temperamental only for bits and pieces, and then they're. Hey, do you think it's already started? It's risky. Dallas knows what he's doing. The We're better off using the back door. That's what he says. Chances are it's locked. We're They're going. We don't even know what's really going on in that damn cathedral. Time to make our move. Lucas, follow me. Millie. Have faith. In the meantime, we have a job to do. Right, I'm going back. Be careful. Take him out, Roderick. Take care of him. You're finished. Ooh. Yeah, I didn't. Good job. I might have got a little carried away. I didn't think they were all gonna like hang out throughout the whole time. It just seemed a little too crazy in terms of just having too many characters on screen. So, yeah, Melia and Lucas are gonna take care of those guys, and hopefully we'll meet up with them. Hopefully they won't act like idiots, like like Arthur, you know. I feel bad for him dying, I really do, but, you know, like I said, it was, well, in all, in a lot of... It's changed a lot since last time. The bells, the cathedral, Amicia, that's where Vitalis is. Which means Mother is, too. That bastard's gonna get a surprise. First, we have to find the others. He's gonna get a punch to his face, that's what he's gonna get. Uh-oh, sneaky, sneaky over there, so there's a dude there. I guess we could just go forward, right? Yeah, there's a lot of this material all over the place. Hey, what's that shaking? It's the rats. They're here, beneath us. So they're the ones who destroyed everything. Look at the ground. When you hold L2 to target with rats, red the rolls indicate hordes trapped beneath the ground. Put out the source of the light to free them. That's been definitely making use of the extinguishers, that's for sure. 
have... There's no one else here, right? We can have him kill. Keep out. You don't need to tell me twice. Nice. You won't be getting up anytime soon. Trust me. Alright. So there's something over there, too, but... Looks like we found a little, uh... Card. Ooh, a lot of string. I bet this is for finding all the alchemist cards throughout the game, I bet. I wouldn't be surprised if that's, the, if that's what the that achievement or trophy is for. I keep saying achievement, but I mean, I'm, this system. So that's what the final like little thing was, was controlling the rats. I think that's kind of neat. All right, anything we can, can I actually upgrade anything here? No. What am I missing? I think I'm missing just a bunch of um, leather or whatever it is. Okay, game, I, I know what I need to do. Can you? Get off that screen, please. <sighs> Game? I, th I can't even tell. I think I'm just missing... Yeah, it's leather, but... God damn it, game. Let me see past that... I don't need to see that, like, thing. Well, fine. I don't... I actually don't need that, uh, the upgrade screen anyway, because I can do that whenever I want. But that's really annoying. That should disappear after a while, you know? It shouldn't just stick for a bit, you know? Sheesh. Okay, now I'll check it. That one I just need more of that stone, which I can find here in a minute if I wanted to. And then this one I need uh, more furs or whatever. I doubt I'm going to find those by the end, but um, anyway. Okay, let's uh, extinguish the flame. Mighty magic flame! It's definitely, it's definitely nice knowing that we don't have to worry about about uh, the rats killing at this time. We can just use the power of the rat to uh, um, take out the guards, you know. Wow. Are you sure? Yes. They're listening to me. Wow. Yeah, I'm freaked out too, Roderick. <laughs> don't, don't, don't just assume you're not the only one. But yeah, it's nice to know that the. I mean, we'll probably have to deal with some uh, evil rats or like the albinos. I'm, I'm, I have a really strong a thing that we're gonna have to avoid the albino rats, and those are gonna be controlled by Vitalis. I would not be surprised if that's if that's what's gonna happen. You know? uh, okay. Anything else around here? Ooh, hello. I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Why? The flagellants whip themselves with it. It's probably got bits of flesh in it. Oh. I see. Ugh, Fletcher's. Kind of reminds me of a uh, reminds me of when I played Warhammer. Uh, one of one of my more fun characters I played was a flagrant. So he was basically just a so into uh, the gods of War. I forgot which god it was in Warhammer, but he was just like, you know, he'd whip himself every battle. So he had to purposely wound himself before in fights to, you know, which made it. Which I'm surprised he surprised survived as long as he did, frankly, because <laughs> he was basically played the character as a death wish. You know, it was like I'm not, I'm gonna fight all demons and, ant and heretics for my god or whatever. Is is fun. Anyway, discipline. Faced with an increasing number of orders and calls, the Church implores the Inquisition to strike down heresy to its core by driving out dulcimans, Fre Fraticelli and fl flagrants or flag flagellants. The later are co uh, convinced that humanity deserves divine sentencing and repent by inflicting discipline upon themselves in public, lacerating their own flesh with great whips while marching through the streets. Ironically, the flagellants, uh, flagellant, flagellants, yeah, flagellants help spread the plague from village to village. Oh yeah, probably because of the uh, wounds and everything like that. But anyway, before we do that, we should have enough for an upgrade. Yeah, there we go. So we'll clear out a lot of that. Not bad. So now we Not can, bad at all. Now we can throw the. Uh, now we can throw the. Uh, so now I can use the fat. If I want to, I can use anything that requires fabric use now. But I don't know if we're going to be able to find enough um, leathers or strings till the by the end. But so what causes the? Yeah, we'll we'll finally be able to make that. We won't make that because that requires that to to use. So, okay. All right. Man, uh, yeah, I can just I can just smell the end of the game. It's like I feel like we're on the cusp of it. We're we're almost there. Just just hang on. <laughs> it's been quite a journey. I'm kind of surprised the game's as long as it is, frankly. 
Although, I mean, roughly when you think about it, I think the game's like, if you add up all my time in episodes and not, me not messing around, you could probably beat the game in less than 10 hours, and that seems about right for a game like this. Guns. Oh, he has this thing. Okay, hold on. I have to get rid of the light. Oh, nope. Hold on. <laughs> ah, crap. Okay, I'm just gonna let this. Okay. I, I should have destroyed his lamp, and then because the rats aren't gonna go into his lamp, we're not that powerful. At least, I don't think they were going to. Okay, do I have to go back and. I don't think so, because it. Hold on, let me look at my upgrades. Okay. Never mind, I can't do that. Okay, so. I was actually not wanting to get caught by those guys originally. Watch out, guns. Oh wait, what? Let's check it out. What? Oh, uh, uh, rats, rats, control, control, get them! Ah oh, man. Why am I fucking up so bad at this part? <laughs> it's because I'm just rushing in. Sorry. Only fools rush in, as the song says. Only fools rush in, and I can't help falling in love with you. Basically, we just have to like take care of their land lanterns, basically. Actually, I was about to say he has a he has no headlights. So. I've noticed at this point we can kind of, I mean, yeah, I've already died a couple times, but we can kind of almost just rush through it when you think about it. You know, just because of the fact that we can control the rats and we've almost got all the upgrades, so it's not, you know. I need to take out his light source. Because, yeah, I don't think the rats will ever actually attack us anymore, will they? Unless they're the albino rats or whatever, but, yeah, we'll never be attacked by those, uh... Okay, I'll need to. He has a light source next to him, so hopefully Roderick doesn't get hit. Um, I'll wait till he calms down, and then we can. Because uh, he'll probably. Cause he's got a light source next to him. We'll have to put out the either. Actually, we could probably just kill him. But say so he doesn't have a helmet, right? Although I have the upgrade that kills people with the helmet on, so it's not. Where'd that one guy go? Oh. Ah, eh, we'll let Roderick kill him. Really, should I be going gung ho and just killing everyone? I mean, it's almost like the game's basically letting me go all like, all just like you know, bullhorn on these guys, you know. Let's just take out dudes and all this other stuff. Get him. <laughs> There's just something satisfying about just being able to control these things, you know? Does he have a light source? He doesn't have a light source. Oh, you stu Oh, he has the he has that flaming sword. How difficult can it be to stay? Haha. Oh nope, uh nope, uh oh, nope. I, I wasted What did I waste? No, I didn't waste that. Okay, because I wasn't waiting. Man, now everyone's uh, using Nicholas's uh, Nick Nicholas tactic of putting their sword on fire. How realistic would it be to like put your sword on fire for that long? You know what I mean? Like, uh, cause when it only, cause the way to do it would be to put like your sword in alcohol, and those workshop I wasn't talking because there was people talking but uh yeah I don't know if there's just some feel nice feeling about just being able to just straight up just gang uh, gang go through these guys just like do 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 just 
Like, if you know what you're doing, like, really quickly, you can just take these guys out. Unlike in the earlier levels of the game where we had to, like, hold off and hold on and hope we don't get caught and sneak around. And It's almost like the game's kind of giving us a break uh, for the finale, you know? Just like, oh, hey, just go all the while, dude. It's, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You'll be fine. The rats won't kill you anymore, at least not these rats. And we've got the... the King of the rats here with our with our bro. And it actually gives you so many options to summon more rats if you want to. But I've got so much material that I've got plenty of like um, um, stuff to make for rat like um, extinguishers and all this other stuff. I'm surprised. I I must have missed the flower because I should have ran into one by now. You know, for this part. At least I feel like I should have. Huh. All right. So I assume we're supposed to go back that way. Yeah, I don't see anything else, so let's just keep going. So, All right, folks. Well, it looks like our, the team is together. Well, minus Arthur. Will the power of Hugo and friendship be able to defeat Vitalis and in his uh, Inquisition? We'll find out next time on the next episode of A Plague Tale Innocence. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.